Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, let us try to see an example where we can prove the, one of the properties of determinants. One of the properties of determinants is telling us that determinant of a scalar times a matrix A is going to be equal to the scalar raised to the power of n times the determinant of A. That is one of the properties of determinants. So let us take a simple example and then try to prove that. Let's say we have a matrix of this type and the elements of this matrix are as follows. Negative 3, 6, 9, 6, 9, 12 and then 9, 12 and 15. Let us say this is the matrix we have and we want to prove this property of determinants. To do that uh, we want to first recognize a few things. The given matrix, this is, this given matrix is a 3 by 3 matrix, right? And in here, c to the power of n means, uh, let me write this, c to the power of n, let us recognize what these, what c is here and what n uh, in here is. c here is is uh, 3 uh, and then n here is also 3 n is the number of rows we have so we have 3 rows and the value of c is 3 because if we if we were to inspect this matrix here we have all the elements in there are multiples of 3 so if I were to pull 3 out and if I were to rewrite this matrix this is going to be 3 times um, this will be negative 1, so I pulled out a 3 common from that, from that element. 6 is a multiple of 3, that is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 5 is 15. So we got all the elements and we pulled out a common in, in all the elements and that is 3 and the value of c is 3 that's the that is the c the, uh, c value and the n value is the number of rows this particular matrix has is 3 rows and therefore the value of n is 3 and therefore we can write this one as 3 to the power of 3 3 to the power of 3 is 3 times 3 times 3 so 3 times 3 is 9 9 times 3 is 27 so we'll keep that the, we can write uh, this, therefore, as 3 to the power of 3 as 27. Therefore, to find the determinant of this matrix, this is how we're going to apply the, the property. c to the power of n, 3 to the power of 3, and then the determinant is the elements we have in, that, uh, in, in the matrix which we have just shown. Negative 1, 2, 3, that is the first row. 2, 3, 4 is the second row, and then 3, 4, 5 is the third row. And we need to expand this matrix, and we should be able to find our answer for that. And therefore, we have seen that 3 to the power of 3 is 27. We'll put a, uh, a bracket that way, and then we will expand this. Here again, we will travel along the first row for convenience sake and according to the sign convention of determinants the, the first sign will be positive the second sign will be negative and the third sign will be positive and uh, that is the that is the way the sign convention works and using that sign convention we're going to uh, we're going to write the element and then the minors of that and then find the determinant of that so we have negative one the minor of that is going to be three 4, 4, and 5, and then negative 2 times the minor of that is going to be 2, 4, 3, and 5, and the third element is 3, and the minor of that is going to be 2, 3, 3, 4. Okay, now we will expand this some more. So this is going to be 27, negative 1 times 3 times 5 is 15, minus 4 times 4 is 16. Then, negative 2 times, 2 times 5 is 10, 3 times, 12, 3 times 4 is 12. And then, plus 3 times, 
2 times 4 is 8 and then 3 times 3 is 9. So we got all the elements done, all the uh, simplification done for that 2 by 2 uh, matrix determinant. And now we'll simplify this some more. 27, negative 1 times 15 minus 16 is negative 1, minus 2 times 10, this is a 2. This is a 2. 10 times 10 minus 12 is negative 2, and then plus 3 times 8 minus 9 is negative 1. So we'll simplify this some more. This is going to be 27 times 1, negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1, negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4, and then 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Therefore, 27 times 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 minus 3 is 2, and therefore 27 times 2 is equal to 54. And this is how we can find the determinant of matrix A. This is the way we can find the determinant of matrix A. And then in here, the property we have used is the determinant of a constant times a matrix is going to be equal to the constant raised to the power of no, raised to the number of rows the matrix has times the determinant of the simplified matrix. And this is one of the one of one of the important properties of uh, of determinants. In my next presentation, we shall look at some more examples to see how we can use the properties of determinants to solve simple example problems.